remove the very thing that actually works my muscles to win the race I need to win in the first place. I need you to change the way y'all think in here, y'all. I'm telling you, I had to do that. I had to learn. I'm sitting up here telling the Lord, remove all my enemies. And he said, I can. But you won't get to the place I need you to get to. Because trials, obstacles, storms, headaches, enemies, scars, wounds, miscarriages, misunderstanding, divorces, all of them was a part of working your muscles off. Mm -hmm. And some of you live in some heavy weight. Oh, yes. Which then he flips it and says, I'm telling you, you got to go through it to get it. You got to lift weights. But he's so good, he says, I'll be your spotter. A spotter is the person that stands over the person who lifts the weight. Mm -hmm. He's suggesting you got to lift the weight, but I'm so good, I'll be your spotter, I'll lift the weight for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Which he says, this is Bible, my yoke is easy. Mm -hmm. Bring your burdens to me. Mm -hmm. So he flips and says, you got to lift the weight. You got to endure. But if you live in me, low key, I'm doing the enduring for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's pray. Lord, thank you. We thank you for your spirit. And we thank you for your presence. We thank you because we're starting to really learn what it really meant when you said you died for us. That you ripped the veil so we can come to you. We can know you for who you really are. We don't have to put on no fake facade. We don't have to say fancy words. We don't have to even be in church a long time. We're learning that you tore down the veil, that all you ask us to do is come boldly, come on purpose. God, we need you in our lives. We're learning the very thing you're asking us to do. If we let you do it, you will actually do the lifting for us. So God, free weights tonight that we've been holding burdens for a long time. Free the burdens tonight. Help them to walk the process then giving the weight back to you. We give our lives to you. We give our kids back to you. We give our relationships. We even give our fears back to you. We give our brokenness back to you. The wounds that we've put ice on to freeze the skin still been burning inside of some of us. God, we ask you to put it out. But, Lord, we ask you to ignite the real fire, and that's what's inside of us. Stir up the gift. Make us more like you. Make us sound more like you. Make us talk more like you. Sir, make us love more like you. And when our love runs out, Lord, we pray you kick in. When we act like and feel like we cannot forgive any longer, God, we ask your forgiveness to kick in. When we can't endure anymore, help us to remind us when you did not pass the cup, you drank the cup. And you were nailed to the cross. And you died for us. So we thank you, sir. Thank you for a wonderful weekend. Thank you for Monday. Thank you for the lessons on Tuesday. Thank you for the conversation on Wednesday. Lord, thank you for tonight. Thank you, Lord. thank you for all the young adults who pressed their way, didn't know what they were getting into, but yeah. they they start to learn more about you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And God, thank you for using a dirty individual like me mm-hmm. to handle something so precious, which is your word. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Lord. God, help us to be more creative in this class. Yes, I pray that that's birth in this place, that their creativity, the way they see things, Ignite from now on. The way they approach ministry, the way they approach singing and music and giving and and hugs and audio and and, uh, first impressions, whatever they do, finances, I pray that you ignite and revolutionize the way they think. And God, 
Touch the pastors. Touch them, Lord. God, you called them. They from your heart. I pray for a heart transplant. That they get renewed on what you're trying to do in this season. Let them know that the message would never change, but the methods got to change. But Lord, prepare us so that when they call on us, we are ready. Yes. God, we thank you, sir. Thank you, Lord. Protect us as we travel. Cover this church tomorrow as they do the youth and young adult explosion. Yes, Lord. And wherever our young adults go, whether it's partying, whether it's with their friends, whether it's back with their husbands and wives, whether it's back to even deal with the issues of life, we pray that they're reminded you with them. Yes, it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And then if you do it right, you will be like her. You will sleep in his arms. Uh -huh.